Christina here. Welcome to another Color Wednesday video. Today I'm using this stamp set from Art Impressions. This is from their Girlfriends collection. Uh, the Girlfriends collection has all of these really fun characters in it. And this stamp set in particular is called Picture Perfect. This image I'm using actually is sold by itself as well. So even though I'm not using the greetings today, I just want to let you guys know that the stamp is sold separately also. So I've just stamped in some archival jet black ink onto some Strathmore cold press watercolor paper. And I'm going to be using some distress markers to add color to this and then I'll bring in some water on a watercolor brush. So I'm going to speed up the process here and I'll turn on some music and I'll catch up with you when the painting is finished. <music>
So after I was done with all of the painting, I took my heat tool and turned it on and just kind of kept it moving all around that painting. I wanted to make sure that everything was completely dry before I pulled off the masking tape. And it did leave a little bit of a border, but I did end up trimming it down anyway because that original watercolor paper was five by seven. So I had to trim it down so it would fit on a regular four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. So the base I'm using today is some cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. This is the khaki color, and I don't think I've ever actually used this color on a card before, but kind of the warm gold khaki tone, I thought it worked really, really well with the watercolor. So I put some foam tape on the back of that piece, and I adhered it down to the front of the card. And that finishes the card for today. I hope that gives you guys an idea of what you can do with some of those more character-driven stamps. And I will see you guys tomorrow for a special video. Just a quick reminder that all of the supplies for this card today are listed down below in the video description. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. That lets me know that you liked this video or like videos like this one so that I know to make more. And I have three more video suggestions for you guys. These are my three most recent card videos, so I hope you'll check them out. You can visit me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. And of course, you can always visit me over at my blog at kwarnerdesign.com. If you click on that link in the top corner right now, it will take you directly to today's blog post. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.